Planet Dolan. How is it possible to steal an entire church? How about a giant bronze elephant statue? Here are 15 of the biggest things ever somehow stolen. I'm Danger Dolan's mysterious brother and today I'll be your narrator. Number 15. A tiger. This beast was found wandering the streets of Texas City when it was captured and confined. Afterwards, some crazy guy felt the urge to steal the tiger by breaking a window at the shelter and attempting to cut locks to set it free. He was ultimately unsuccessful, but you have to wonder what exactly he would do when he encountered an apex predator armed with nothing but bolt cutters and a hat. Death. He would experience death. Number 14. A front lawn. You come home from work, you're pulling up, everything seems okay. Oh wait, someone stole all of your grass. You take a few moments to figure out how. That's what happened to Denise Thompson from Canada. Thieves had come in and stolen every blade of grass off her lawn, but left all her valuables inside. Luckily afterwards, she found a note explaining it was a landscaping error, that they'd gotten the house wrong, but they were keeping the grass. Nobody knows why. Number 13. A whole kitchen. When Kevin McCracken came back to his model home unit, it probably wasn't the best day ever to find out his whole kitchen had been stolen. Cupboards, cabinets, a fridge, dishwasher, even the sink. They assumed someone with a truck had arrived to haul off the kitchen. Unlike the previous story though, they hadn't left a note. Which likely would have said, Haha, stole your kitchen, bye. Number 12. A tank. An ex-veteran out of work plumber named Sean Nelson decided one day to visit the local military armory and steal a tank. He then used it to flatten half the neighborhood before he got stuck on a road divider. Then he was shot to death by police. His former wife went on record saying, he was just on drugs. That's why he stole 63 tons of explosive armor and killed nearly everyone. Drugs. Number 11, a giant ET. This grandmother got an amazing gift from her daughter, a full-size replica ET made over three months in a makeup course, which of course, someone decided to steal. It was worth thousands of dollars and a lot more in sentimental value, but the biggest surprise came when, a year later, it washed up off the coast. The only thing he was missing was a finger. This is okay, we're all happy to give that robber a giant finger. Number 10, a church. This place built in 1809 was mysteriously stolen brick by brick in 2008 and not noticed for months as it was in an isolated area. Rumor goes the local villagers sold it to a businessman at a price of a handful of cents per brick until the church was no more. An orthodox priest went on record saying it was blasphemy, a grave sin and dumb, really dumb. Number nine, a 200 ton bridge. How do you lose one of those things? That's an extremely good question. In Eastern Russia, we find a road that somehow vanished overnight, despite its immense weight. This was the path to a heating plant nearby, and so all the workers had to find alternate ways around. They claimed the robbers came during the night and removed the whole bridge. Someone out there really doesn't like that people heat scrap metal for a living. Number eight, a giant bronze elephant. As you might imagine, this elephant isn't alive. It's a 400 pound statue owned by the Darnell family, usually kept outside their house until they woke up one day to find it gone. In broad daylight around lunchtime, they heard a bang, looked outside, and it had already been stolen. They've been offering a $500 reward for its return. Here's hoping it washes up on a beach like the last giant creature in this list. Number seven, a beach. You're planning a resort, a getaway for tourists. Then someone comes along and steals 500 truckloads of sand from your beach. Everyone suspected rival resorts. The investigation went on so far as to do forensic tests on their beaches to identify foreign sand. It ended up as an $8 million lawsuit over some sand that is literally everywhere. Number six, a plane. Very mysteriously, a Boeing 727-223 was stolen by a couple of guys, one a pilot, the other an engineer, even though the plane needed a three-person crew. It took off right under the airport's nose. The transponder off, they flew away and were never heard from again. This happened over 14 years ago, and despite extensive searching by the FBI and the CIA, they got away clean. Number five, an oil tanker. This one happened because of poor guarding. 
The Russian crew must have been dozing off when pirates climbed aboard to steal the entire tanker. There were no suspects, and to make matters worse, the security hired let it happen a couple more times in the same year. Don't you hate it when you blink and your 300,000 ton ship goes missing? It happens to us all. Number four, a live shark. Speaking of giant floating sea monstrosities, this rare UK shark was abducted from an aquarium set in a shed. No, it didn't just float away. The lights were on, the door open, and the shark clearly stolen. Unfortunately, the owners were breeders trying to keep the species going. Luckily, some random now has a dangerous fanged kill machine. Yay! Hello. Number three, a giant inflatable gorilla. This thing was worth $4,000 and called Mr. Pickles. The owners of the car dealership just assumed it had deflated, but one of them went up to check and wouldn't you know it? Gone. For the next three days, it was a manhunt to figure out what had happened. It couldn't possibly have blown off with all the cables, but who stole it? Turns out it was some high schoolers because it turned up at the top of a school. 4,000 bucks worth of classic prank. Number two, the peak of a mountain. Over there in India, we find villagers climbing the mountain to chip away at, collecting the hard bounty and then selling it to property developers. It's been going on for so long that over 30% of the mountain has been stolen. Nobody can understand how this happened, including us. Number one, the Empire State Building. This one is absurd. For 90 minutes in 2008, the entire state building belonged to New York Daily News because of a forged document. They managed to get city register to believe it for a short time, and so the building was transferred to Nelot's properties. Nelot's being the word stolen backwards. Next step, the White House. Well, that's it for this countdown, but catch you guys next time.